Good morning guys, again from this beautiful San Francisco Square here in Quito, in the historic center of Quito. Now, yesterday we went to the Central Market to get some food, but honestly there was a lot going on there. And not far away from here, well, a metro ride away from here, in another part of the city, not the historical center, but a much more modern part of the city, is a very, very interesting place. According to the Ecuadorians, to the local Quitanos, the most popular and best food market, the best Andean food market, the best Ecuadorian food market of Quito. And the biggest, so, yeah, as you know, I like markets and I'm flipping hungry, I didn't have breakfast, so let's sit there and explore that market and get some Ecuadorian food, as much Ecuadorian food as we can. And to get there, we are going to try out the Quito Metro. I've got, I've yet got to use the Metro here in Quito. So, I'm buzzing to see what it's like. Let's do it. Vamos. Essa, gracias, señor. Muy amable. Que tiene buen día. See, three people, people are flipping friendly in Ecuador. Just like everywhere else in Latin America. You can leave your water there without it being robbed. This wouldn't be the case in Europe. In Europe, this water would be gone, surely. So, Labrador, that's where are we, where we are heading to. Man, I haven't had breakfast today and I'm feeling it. I'm losing my words already. So how is this working here? Where do you buy a ticket to enter the metro? I mean, from here, it looks very, very modern. Super modern, actually. Oh yeah, it is. I think you're buying tickets downstairs, probably. Yeah, flipping modern. Looks like a brand new metro station, to be fair. There's a pretty complete car, too. Right, guys, right, that lady just told me, that Ecuadorian lady just told me that, the metro here was built by the same company as the one in Madrid. I've never been to Madrid, I've been to Spain many times, but somehow never to Madrid. And this metro here was built by the same people, same company as the one in Madrid. So yeah, that's why it looks so flipping modern. Wow, didn't expect this to be fair. to our station, Central University, Universidad Central. And what I really like about this metro is that in stark contrast to Mexico City, here they are telling you which station you're at. They are warning you, like, next stop this, next stop this. Just like the underground in London or the metros in, in Europe in general. Here they are telling you where you're at. And yeah, we've now made it to the northern central part of Quito, which is a bit more of a, I wouldn't say the richest area of the city, but definitely a more, I would say a more, yeah, upper scale neighborhood, a more upper class neighborhood, compared to the historic center and the south. Quito is actually like, built in a way that in the north, the further north you go, the richer it gets, and the further south you go, the poorer it gets. And the center, the historic center, is like the beginning of the poorer, region of town and yeah here's where we're going Mercado de Santa Clara so shout out to Quito for this modern metro might be the most modern I've seen yeah definitely is the most modern I've seen in Latin America wow it's even cleaner than the one in London the one in London is smelly man even cleaner than European metros and this is supposed to be currently 
one of South America's, one of Latin America's most dangerous cities. Well, they've got such a modern metro. Wow. Man, to be honest, I expected the metro here to be, be a bit dodgier because, I don't know, the one in Mexico City is super smelly, super sweaty, super crowded. It's not enjoyable to hobble the metro in Mexico City, but here it is. I don't know, maybe it's, it's, it's the rush hour, maybe the rush hour is a different story, but right now, super enjoyable. And wow, well, check it out, guys. Got to put these sunglasses back on again. We've made it to the north of Quito. We've made it to Universidad Central, Central University, surrounded by the green Andean mountains. Check it out. And yeah, the city is actually very reminiscent of other Andean cities I've been to, like Quito, Ayacucho, and apparently it's also very similar to La Paz. I've never been to La Paz, never been to Bolivia, I yet to go. But yeah, makes sense, obviously, makes sense. The buses, on the other hand, look a lot less modern than the metro. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out, this is the church here. Iglesia Bautista Universitaria. The Bautistian Universitarian Church. Wow, a bit improvised. Hola, buenas. Well, yeah. Different part of town, I like it. Because the historic center is a bit, yeah. I like the hustle and bustle, the craziness, but at times it's a bit, yeah, a bit too much for me. I reckon that this area here is also a bit, a bit safer at night, definitely. Right, guys, I've asked around and the market seems to be right ahead of us here. It's that building over there. So let's have a look inside, into Mercado Santa Clara. See what we can find. So here it starts. Here it starts, basically. Here it's called our vac and fruits. Fruits and vac, wow. Wow, we've got everything here. Bananas, plantain, apples, oranges. Wow, pineapple. Not a big fan of pineapple, me. Melons. Wow. So I reckon this is the place to come to do your fruit shopping and vac shopping. This is the food court. Oh wow. Well. Check it out. Oh man. That's it, it's big. I've been, I've been told by Ecuadorians that this is the best food market of Quito. Mm. Oh, well. And loads of choice, again. Loads of choice. Ah, I like the vibe. I love the vibe in Latin America now. I love it. Best region of the world, best countries of the world. So much better than in Europe, than in cold, failed Europe. Viva Ecuador! Okay. Right, guys, so I'm now waiting for my food here. I've chosen this place. That's just the color. Coco, okay. This is Coco. Oh. Con leche. Okay. Gracias. So I got myself a cocoa juice here. Coconut and milk. So, whilst I'm waiting for my food, I got myself a fish menu here for four and a half dollars. So, I'm buzzing. But cheers. Mm. That's very sweet. Gracias, gracias, señor. Yeah, got myself this coconut juice. It's very sweet. Nothing I would drink every day. But it's tasty, it's good. It's like coconut milk. But it's still good. In Ecuador, they've got their own ceviche. Muchas gracias, señora. Check it out, girls. Check out that beauty. They've got here fried fish. Uh, comes with yuca, which I like a lot. 
they eat this a lot here in yeah in um, Peru and in Ecuador I've eaten it a lot in Iquitos in the jungle and it's pretty nice like a, a fruit a vegetable sorry a vegetable which is only here in South America then I've got lime rice the fried fish and this mini ceviche here ceviche is a lot different to the one in Peru a lot different here it's more like a soup it's actually a mixed ceviche with fish and shrimp so yeah provecho mm. muy rico muy rico wow I like it super different to Peruvian ceviche all your Peruvians watching will be thinking like this ain't ceviche but this is Ecuadorian ceviche and it's flipping tasty man mm. all of it for four and a half dollars it's a long time since I had this you won't find yuca in Mexico for instance let's go for the yuca pretty rico Tastes actually a bit similar to potato. And yeah, now let's go for the fish. Some fried fish. I don't know which fish, but smells good. Check it out. Fried fish. Ecuadorian style. Eat it with the yuca here. Now I can definitely say that I've fallen in love with Ecuador. Viva Ecuador! The fish tastes a bit like fish and chips in, in, in the UK. The only good food in England, the only good food that the English have. Fish and chips, and it tastes a bit like it. Let's get some rice on here. Mm. So good. So, so good now. I'm gonna destroy this now. And yeah, then we'll continue. Probecho, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Ah, this could be my new favorite country for food. After Peru and... Yeah, I mean, every country in Latin America has its own delicious cuisine. And Ecuadorian cuisine has surprised me. I'll tell you honestly. So let's go and explore yeah, this area of Quito, the north of Quito, the safer, calmer, more laid-back north of Quito. Oh man, what a change from the hustle of the historic Santa. So different here. Yeah. My camera, see. Sí. Una chiquita. Gracias. Next time I come to Quito, when I come back here, I'll be staying here in the north of the city. It's a lot better. I mean, the historic Santa is beautiful. It's pretty nice to visit, but to stay, it's a bit, uh, I don't know. Nothing open at night. It's sketchy at night. And here, yeah, it's a lot more of a laid back village vibe. Small town void. Very nice. Very nice. I think there's a sermon going on. Make sure to subscribe to Joe Checks In. Amen. Right guys, we're now approaching an area right next to Santa Clara, which is called Mariscal. And which is seemed to be like, yeah, which once used to be Quito's nightlife area. Called the nightlife here 
Yeah, kind of died. Kind of died off. Many things closed down. And yeah. But still, they still deemed to be one of Quito's prettiest areas. And wealthiest. Mariscal. We're now approaching it. And here in the distance, I can see something very interesting. It looks like a... Yeah, fake Eiffel Tower. Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Está una buena área acá, Mariscal. Buena área en Quito, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, muy seguro, sí. Ok. Más seguro que... Ah, sí. Más seguro que el centro histórico, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok, mucho gusto, señores. Hasta luego. Just had a little chat there with the boys. And here goes, now you can see Ecuador's Eiffel Tower built into this building here. Check it out. Built into the facade of this building. Wow. I know where I'll be staying the next time I come to Quito. But surely this is also like the more expensive area to stay. Definitely. Because it's safer. It's, yeah, it's calmer. It's always like that. In Mexico City, that's the case in Roma, Candesa. In Medellin, it's in, yeah, in Laureles. In Buenos Aires, it's in Palermo. So yeah, this is like Palermo in Buenos Aires, like Roma, Condesa in Mexico City. What I like here is that even though this is like the richer area of town, you've still got like street vendors here selling fruits. It's pretty nice. Check it out, guys. We've made it. Mariscal, check it out. This is the area of Mariscal. The former nightlife hotspot here of Quito. And the more, yeah, how should I say, upscale neighborhood of the richer areas here of Quito. And perhaps the safest. If you listen to the Ecuadorians, and it feels super safe here, man. So check it out, because here you got ceviche, like the Ecuadorian version of ceviche, so two and a half dollars. Pretty nice. Let's just come. Hola, buenas. So yeah, maybe when I'm feeling a little hungry again later on. Well, yeah, it's not just shiny buildings around here. I mean, look at that building. There's also some rough run down buildings around here some old yeah rusty buildings like that one they've got a pizza hut i hate pizza hut and they've got the andean mountains what a sight what a sight honestly what a sight and here yeah speaking of run down buildings have a look at that beauty is it in construction or is it run down destroyed i don't know Oh yeah, not just Chinese stuff around here. It's not a rich bitch area. It's just a more, I don't know, a wealthier area and safer area. The abandoned blue castle of Ecuador. Who knows, maybe this was like, yeah a Marco meeting point back in the days. The abandoned blue castle of Quito. And here by the way guys, we've got a hostel. Interesting, hostel, not just Quito. Doesn't look very welcoming from afar, but might be decent, who knows. At the moment, I'm, as you know, taking a break from the hostel life because I'm getting too old for this. I'm getting too old for the hostel life. Which is why, yeah, I've decided to stay. If the places are cheap, I'll stay in hotels more often from now on. Here in Quito, it's very cheap actually. Hotels cost like $20 a night, budget hotels. The Mercado Artesanal La Mariscal. The Mariscal Artifacts Market is actually an attraction here in Quito. It's the major reason why people come here to, why tourists, why visitors, foreigners come here to Mariscal. 
this market. We've got smelly traditional Andean clothing here, of course. And football shirts, of course, Ecuador. I actually like the Ecuador jersey. I like it. Look at this, very stylish. Orgullo, proud. They've got nice shirts, Ecuador. Quanto vale la de Ecuador? Ecuador, 12. 12? 10. 10? Okay. Wow. 10 dollars, guys, for football shirts. Wowzers. Hola, buenas. Here we go. Yeah, many Andean souvenirs. Check it out. Jewelry. Ten dollars for a football jersey. I might actually go for that. Yeah, and as you can see, it's a giant place. It's a giant place. It really is. They've got beer. They've got Kaloop here, pills now. Probably won't be able to. Hola, ¿qué tal bien? Sí. ¿Estás el jefe de negocio? Sí. Oh, he's the business chief. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Ocho. Ocho años, estás el jefe. Wow, muy bien. Yo cuando tenía ocho años fui solo jugando GTA en la play. Jejeje, muy bien. Eight years old and already the chief of business here. Jejeje, what a star. When I was eight years old, all I did was playing GTA on my play. Man, things are different here in Quito. Right guys, new style. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist buying the shirt. It's just too stylish. I just love the shirt. So yeah, now the real Ecuadorians. Got a few days left here, but now I've got the real style. Ten dollars, I think it's not too much for such a stylish shirt. Many people I've got Mexico shirts, Brazil shirts, Colombia shirts, Argentina shirts, but not many, I've got Ecuador shirts. Well, as I said before, guys, this used to be the nightlife era here in Quito, and here we can see a good example of it. Here's the former discotheca. Hey, man, ¿qué tal? Bien. <laughs> Viva Ecuador. And here we can see an old club, an old discotheca, which is closed down. So yeah, I can't really tell why. Maybe it's due to the safety situation in the country, the worsening safe situation in the country where nightlife has died, died off. But anyway. We're now approaching, apparently, the richest area of Quito. The richest street of Quito. So yeah, guys, the street here surely looks like a former, former party hotspot. Check it out. Well, you've got like shawarma kebab shops here for after the night out. And yeah, it looks a bit like a Magaluf type of street. But yeah, not anymore. Most places have shut down, most bars. Massive avenue here. In Quito. I can't imagine that this street used to be. I mean, it has the looks of a nightlife area, if you ask me. All the, the fast food shops, the kebab shops, many bars as well. Or, I should say, former bars. Yeah, I wonder why this place has been, yeah, shut down, basically. It's still a nice place. It is the fancy Marriott Hotel of Quito. Of course, in probably like, yeah, the fanciest area of Quito, surrounded by the beautiful Andean mountains. It's a nice place. This is probably the place where the football teams are gonna stay when they play in Quito. Like Argentina, Brazil, where they, when they play in Quito, they probably stay here at this fancy hotel. Wow. So yeah, nice place. Also Quito has fancy spots. I think we should go for some more Ecuadorian ceviche or cevichotto as they call it here in Ecuador. And yeah, I think it's Colón basically. All the buildings that follow up 
is the part of the city called Cologne, the richest of Quito. Probably Quito's most expensive area. Viva Ecuador, viva Quito. See you guys in the next one from Ecuador. Somewhere else, somewhere north of Quito. A very unique place on this planet, in this world. Those are into geography. Those of you that are into geography probably know where we're going tomorrow. See you in the next one from Ecuador. Viva Ecuador, viva Quito. Right then guys, time to finish the video. And we're doing it with another Ecuadorian ceviche. Ecuadorian version of ceviche. And I flipping love it. Squeeze the lime in here as always. And yeah guys, I surely enjoyed my day. I hope you did as well. I hope I made you want to visit Ecuador, try some delicious Ecuadorian food. And yeah. I'm pretty happy with my new style, with my Ecuador jersey. I like it. And yeah, guys. Provecho. Again. Look how tasty that looks. Ecuadorian food is similar to Peruvian food, but not the same. It's pretty authentic. El Salvador, for instance, El Salvadorian food is pretty much a mixture of Colombian and Mexican food, but Ecuadorian food is super authentic. And I'm loving it. So yeah, guys. Provecho. And viva Ecuador, viva Quito. See you in the next one from Quito or somewhere else in Ecuador.